My story begins 10 years ago. I had what I thought was wonderful life and a wonderful relationship with God. I thought that everything was good and that my life was going in all the right directions. Unfortunately, on May 2nd, um, 2007, my son was killed in a car accident, was hit uh, by a gentleman going at the rate of 90 to 100 miles an hour. Firefighters intubated him and got him to the hospital. At that time, I just couldn't accept God because I didn't feel that he was there for me. He didn't listen the night that Josh was in the hospital. And I wanted him to live so bad. And I didn't understand why other people could live, but Josh could not. And it was so hard to try to explain to over 200 students that came to the hospital to say their goodbyes that Josh wasn't gonna make it. And I just kept asking God, you know, why are you not hearing my prayers? And how does something like this happen to a young man that was going to be able to give a lot of life and love in this world? And going through loss of great loss of losing a child when you weren't ready um, was a tremendous, tremendous feat um, to try to get up on my feet and I never cried out to God. One of the next broken um, experiences is going through the court process with the young man that um, killed Joshua. That was harder than seems like somewhat the day of the accident because the young man didn't seem remorseful at all. And we went through the court process. The young man got uh, 4.85 years in prison. I was going to write to him to forgive him. I still have that brokenness about myself is to learn how to forgive. Then my next loss and great loss in my life was a brokenness of a marriage that my husband of 34 years um, stepped out of the marriage and broke my heart. I thought that I was going to be married all my life. To all of a sudden have that world change and come crumbling down was very, very difficult. Divorce was losing a partner, a person that you thought um, that you would always have there. One of the things that I said as a partner to my husband was that, you know, he's the only one that understands of losing my son. That he's the only other person that understands. And that part goes away with divorce. One of my coworkers at work said, you know what, you ought to go to Pure Heart. She goes, I think it would be a really good match for you. But at the time when I walked through the doors, there was Pastor Rachel with her grand smile that she has. And she said, hi, welcome to Pure Heart. Have you been here before? And I said, no, I haven't. And she goes, well, I'm so glad you came. And it made me feel so welcome, not afraid. I was no longer scared. Pastor Dan had a sermon that reached to my heart in all ways. I thought he was just talking to me. He had talked a little bit about going through divorce and the struggles of divorce and the pain of divorce. And I thought, God is real. He is really here with me right now. So the next Saturday, again, I came alone and I walked through those doors, and sure enough, there was Pastor Rachel there. And at this time, she gave me a big hug and said, I am so glad you came back. And I sat in the back row again by myself, and I listened to Pastor Dan, what he had to say. And for a second time, he was talking to me. And at that point was my turning point that I knew that this is where I needed to be that God led me here. God led me here to this church. God led me to hear the messages that Pastor Dan was saying. God led me to the arms of Pastor Rachel to put her arms around me. And I felt at home and I felt peace and I felt loved. I then decided that I'm gonna reach out in my life and started getting involved and I took the MOVE class. And now I feel that I am growing by leaps and bounds within the Word and in Pure Heart, with Pure Heart. Just most recently, we started the next um, class of being a table coach for the Starting Point class. 
pouring love and pure heart into my table partners has been a true joy. To be around other people and just discuss and learn the word has been so exciting. I have brought other members to the class and got them involved and I've got them involved in Pure Heart. It's just giving that love and, and sharing that forward and sharing the knowledge of walking like Jesus would walk. And having the mission out there for Pure Heart, a vision that is a part of Pure Heart and the family that is here that we have together. With God in my life and the journey that I'm taking now towards God, becoming a member of Pure Heart Church has helped me extremely heal and learn that I can help others and let them know that it's okay and that you can survive and you will survive with the love of God and the grace of God in your heart, you can do it.